You have a lot to say? Yes. What you want to talk about? What you want to tell the people? Santana is just starting to find his voice. He's eight months old. As rewarding as moments like this are, raising a little one, especially a very little one, can be a lot. First time mother Dawn Downey is getting some help. I'm just really excited for his developmental process as far as, you know, just getting older and, you know, just being able to interact with other people, other kids. Downey tells me she's been here for about three months. Sarah's Hope Family Shelter in West Baltimore doubles for homeless and child care services. They're opening early Head Start, child care and education for youngsters six months to three years. It comes at no cost to families in need. We ultimately know if we're doing our job right, then they'll be able to receive the resources that will help them self-actualize. Sarah's Hope is under the purview of St. Vincent de Paul. Dr. Jarrell McCray is its chief operating officer. He tells me they've prepared for 12 spots, but they're hoping to expand in the future. So we're that stepping stone, we're that bridge. And so that's what I see. I see um, the opportunity to allow another fellow community member to be able to get that, that bridge towards success. You're gonna be a star, you're gonna be a star. It's already there. Budding reporter Santana will put me out of a job someday as he reaches for our microphone. And in this room, he'll have much more to reach after, including shelves full of toys. While he does that, Dawn can focus on school. As you can imagine, she tells me it's a relief. I'm very happy that I'm able to have a place that's safe, that's clean, that's respectable, and that I can really have my son there and he can learn while I focus on other things to help our family. So I'm very pleased. <laughs> yeah.